Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about Copilot Kit. You know that agents are all over the place, right? And once we have the agent, let's take it as a backend. How to connect that to the front end, right? That is when the Copilot Kit comes into play. It helps you to add the front end to any agent applications. The UI is here. It's doing its thinking. As you can see here, it is now evolving different things, writing the evolution of agentic AI section, writing the application and use case section, writing the multi-agent systems and collaboration systems. This is the website. You can see here, it is the open source project and you can see there is already 16.3k stars in the GitHub. You can go here and explore what is Copilot Kit and what it is capable of. But in this video, I am going to demonstrate you with an example. This is from the Copilot Kit. And as you can see, it is an open source AI agent native research canvas application that performs real time sorts with human in the loop capabilities, powered by Copilot Kit, Tavli, and Langgraph. I'll be walking you through the step by step process. By the end of this video, you will have the Lang graph where you create the agent that is connected to your front-end applications via uh, Copilot Kit. Let's get started. Okay, this is the GitHub repository. The first thing that we need to do is clone this in your local computer. I will copy this. I will open the terminal here and I will just do git clone and I will clone this. Once this is cloned, I will go inside it. There you go. And I, I will open this now in VS Code. It's easy for me to show you. Let me bring the VS Code. Here you can see, as I said you before, so there is a back end which acts as an agent, right? And there is a front end that connects uh, them together. So we can have the UI where we can have the conversation. Let me open a terminal so I can show you uh, what I do side by side. Let me make this little bit smaller so i have some space so first let's go to the readme right open in preview this demo showcases this or research this i just went this before powered by lang graph it simplifies complex research tasks making them more interactive and effective you can see this is the ui that is going to be at the end if you want to explore copilot kit there is the docs uh, link you can go there quick start so prerequisites there are some of the prerequisites there so you need to have P and PM install. All the links are there, but just make sure you have installed by running P and PM dash dash version once you install it. Okay, I have 10 point zero point zero, so I'm good to go with that. About the Docker also, I already have Docker installed. Docker is being installed, but just to show you here, I can say Docker version. There is also the Docker being installed there. And the Lang Graph CLI. For this, I will click so you know what I am talking about because there is Lang Graph CLI and there is Lang Graph Studio. So you can use uh, both of these, but in this case, I will demonstrate you from the Lang Graph CLI. So this, this is the command that you need to install locally. I will just copy this one. I will go back to the terminal and paste enter. It is going to be installed in my computer, and you can see here. This is the Langgraph CLI thing. And if you want to type something, it will be Langgraph. So if I say Langgraph JS, right? This is the command that we are going to run once we are in that part. We have all the setup prerequisites now done. And that we need to have the OpenAI API key, of course. We need to connect to the LLM. First thing first, OpenAI. So for this, you need to go to the OpenAI's website. Link is, by the way, there. Go there, get the API key and put somewhere. We will need this once we go inside the agents and the front end. I can open here so you can see this is the uh, website. You can log in. I am already logged in here. Here you can see this is the API key, right? And then you also need to have the Lang Smith account created. If you don't have that, go to this. Here is the account here link. It will take you there if you go to the settings here is the api key and from here you can get the api key i will create the api key later and what is the next thing that we need uh, copilot kit but if you want to run this locally you don't even need to connect to the copilot cloud but you need to have the uh, key if you click here it will take you to the website this is the website you can try for free and check the documentations and so on and here is the start tutorial and you can get the API key from here, right? And once you connect it, uh, the in points will be here, remote in points, which says remote in points allow you to call agent hosted on the remote servers. But we are running it locally, so we don't need this, but 
just for you the information that you can connect that also once this is done we can go into the third step what is that e start the agent i said you before remember that agent as a back end and we have the front end which we have the ui for that agent right for this we need to go inside the agent let me clear the screen i will go now inside the agent here and inside the agent it says cat this we need to create this but if you go inside the agent there is already dot env dot example this is exactly what it is mentioning in the preview what i will do here is i will just rename this you can do from here or terminal whatever you prefer i can just go here and delete the remaining part and there you go there is the env right next we need to have the api keys i will go with the tabeli i will just copy this right and i will go to my vs code i will just replace the api key now i will go again to the lang smith here i will go to the api key part which i am already here i will create the api key i will give some random name i will just give one because i have already created before so there is the api key i will copy the api key go back to my vs code and paste here for open ai api key again go to your account i have already in my another account i will get the api key i will go back to the vs code and then paste it here there you go we have the needed api key for our agent so what is the next step that we need to do if i scroll a little bit down it says lang graph up but it's lang, lang graph js up what if i do lang graph up lang graph is not fine right lang graph so if you run this inside the folder you can see here everything is now being pulled because we don't have anything locally that is how the docker works because it is now connected docker that's the reason i'm saying you that it needs to be connected to the docker and you need to have docker installed in your machine i will show you from the docker here is the empty now right now you can see it just pops up here and it is now running our agent is running and you can see lang graph agent and 8123 is the port that we need to be providing into the front end so it is being connected if you can be open in docker that's it what i just showed you there right we don't need to go through this part because this is when you want to connect through the copilot cloud but you can skip this for now if you want to run it locally now comes the front end which now is the copilot comes into handy it now connects to that agent what i will do i will create a new tab here i will go inside the front end right if you go now now let's close the uh, as before going into the front end part open resource ana is one of the use case of copilot but i will uh, take you to the documentations to show what are all the possibilities if i go back to the documentations here i will provide the link in the description you can see that there is quick start about lang graph and there is guides this is the lang graph you can see here turn your lang graph into an agent native application in 10 minutes you can follow the instructions here and the good part of copilot kit is that the documentation is quite clear with step by step guide uh, to follow what you can do here is you can bring your own lang graph agent or use the co agents starter repo and continue uh, from this this is with the lang graph quick start right if you go on on the guides also here there is this front end actions so it says here create the front end actions and use them within your uh, agent what is this when should i use this right dynamically update the ui elements trigger front end animation or transition show alerts or notifications modify application state and so on you get the idea what you can do with the copilot kit and i will be showing you in this video still about this generative ui renders your agent's behavior with custom ui components you can see all the streaming things that goes when you ask the question in the ui itself which is called a generative uh, ui and also there is the human in the loop once you have all those things shown in the ui human in the loop allows agents to request human input or approval during the execution making ai systems more reliable and trustworthy this is still in this uh, example also i will show you in the later half of this video now let's get back into the code if you go inside the front end so this is the next js application if you read me here i think open preview is good this is a next js project bootstrap with this you know what to run here but we don't need to go into details if you want to go through the code you can go through the code inside it but we don't need to go through that 
the only thing we need to do now is once you are inside the front end you need to install the packages right so here you can see front end and here are some of the packages in the package.json we need to install this so how to do installation is running one command that is pnpm install i'll go here inside the front end install it is going to install all the necessary packages for us you can see here okay that's done everything is being installed i will clear the screen and now again there must be a api keys we can directly go inside dot env dot example i will just rename this with example but we don't need the deployment url because we are not connecting to the uh, server but we need the local deployment url it's correct we need the lang smith api key and the open ai api key i will get this from this env because we have already pasted here uh, let me copy all and i will just remove the second one there so this one we don't need the uh, tavili that there you go i save this i'm showing you the api keys because i'm going to remove or delete it uh, anyway after this so that is done api key is being provided and now we need to run the ui right pnpm run dev remember inside the front end because sometimes it might be confusing like it is not connecting to uh, the front end so you can see once we run this it is showing the local host 3000 now just click here or copy this command and you can go to your browser i am here in my browser i will do control v enter so now you see here we are having the ui for the agent that is running in the lang graph right so this is the ui we can now go here and ask the questions so i can say can you do a research about agentic ai because that is what all of us are talking about the ai so now you can see it is connecting to the table ai sourcing the wave agentic ai source the application applications of agentic ai challenges of agentic ai future of agentic ai thinking of a research proposal it is doing all the things under the hood it did the first part of the thinking there is the human in the loop here here you can see the check marks you need to approve this so it will do the remaining part we haven't completed that part right i will say okay i want this also i want application and use case i want the multi-agent i want the challenges and ethical considerations i want the future ai conclusion and references that looks good and then if you want to provide something i say okay looks good maybe just a simple remarks and i can say approve proposal once i approve this now you will see it will do its thing here and here you will be seeing now the uh, full document and there is two options also here full document and section view i will show you that once it appears here so now agentic ai section so it will be also showing you what it is doing under the hood right the ui is here is still doing its thinking as you can see here it is now evolving different things writing the evolution of agentic ai section writing the application and use case section writing the multi-agent systems and collaboration systems it is writing the references section now i can go to the agentic ai part here i mean the this is what i was also a little bit confused before there is the full document you cannot click uh, this part if you go to the section view then you can click that part makes sense right you can go to different parts here and there is the conclusion okay as we look towards uh, 2025 it is evident that agentic ai is poised to revolutionize various sectors transforming the way businesses operate and so on there you go i have completed the resource report on agentic ai would you like me to assist you with anything else if you want you can just ask more questions here and now you can of course view this here we are viewing it there is this edit functionality also here you can edit it if you don't want something else here you can just go here just to show you that it works okay thank you this is just example here and then and view this is here if you go down here is the thank you just you can edit and and do things here and you can go to the references all the references are also being shown this is good because when you have a report without the references then it doesn't make sense this is a first draft let's say in a way and now you can go here and do more things for example just to show that if it works or not we can just click the link yeah it is taking from this agentic ai is the top strategic technology trend from this page i hope 
you learn something new and you see how co-pilot can be helpful in connecting the agent under the hood and the front end where you can have the uh, UI because not all person needs to be technical or who has to know what is under the hood of the agent if you provide someone the UI okay now this is the UI where you can do your research yeah that's it right you don't need to go through what it is doing under the hood it helps your colleagues to do their job once you build everything under the hood yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one